Femalan grade 9 ni makaya. E, ngi ni tumelele umsebenzi. E, ozo ni siza. E, futi oha ambilana ni umsebenzi kati nuenza kukali pamfundi. So, ngi ni tumelele futi kukul classroom. Uguti izimbendu loze ni yale misebenzi. Ze mibuzo ni zostola gupi kukali pamfundi. E, don't answer the, the sections on Kali Pamfu. They're just meant to help you answer this worksheet. So the first question uh, is a comprehension test that is um, not very difficult. And uh, you're not going to find it in Kali Pamfu anyway. So use your vocabulary, which I know you have. Mambuzo 2 also. Is it just a visual uh, that you can answer? You are going to find your answers from the visual. The um, third question as well is based on the visual. The fourth question is the poem. So if you have forgotten, you have the poems in your Kalipam Fundi. But I would prefer if you could first just do them on your own to see how much you still remember of what was done. And uh, if you struggle, you can go back to your Kalipam Fundi to get your answers. But these poems are in your Kalipam Fundi. Uh, so is St. Lucia. Just check your Kalipam Fundi to see if you still remember if you have not gotten them right or if you've forgotten what they're all about uh, these are sin poems these poems are poems that we done in class and then you also have an unseen poem that will mostly be dealing with the external structure like we have done in class so all the answers that you need for this poem you can find just by looking at the poem even if you don't know what it is about then question five you have a card here followed by the question so all your answers for these questions will come from you looking at the card and then we have question six uh, which is a uh, wonder when the locatives uh, you have the exercises on from food as well uh, question seven is singular then plural and then here these questions are incorrect so fix them capital letters a uh, concourse all that then question seven uh, is tenses you start with kusasa uh, so you start with kusasa and then they, you'll rewrite the whole sentence. The word order is going to change, of course. Then here is Umini um, possessives. Uh, you have that in Kali Pamfundi. I've indicated uh, in, your, in Google Classroom where you can find these things if you've forgotten. And then here is not opposites, it's negatives. Uyahamba agahambi. So it's not opposite. You can't say uyahlala. Uyahamba agahambi. So you write all this in the negative. And then here, remember we said that you have a verb. And then you have a noun that comes from the verb and we said if you have this verb you have umlal which is bizondo a noun an abstract noun that comes from this verb but then a personal noun that comes from this verb will be umlal so this is for things and this will be people so all these words will be built from the verb so here you have all the verbs and then you have a verb 
a noun here that is not a person and then you'll have a noun here that is a person both are built from these verbs like we've done in class you should still remember that here you use na remember the rule that na plus u is o and then you do that and the same with nga plus u we have the two vowels that we bring together to form one vowel and remember when to use na and when to use nga na will be and which means two things that do something together but nga means you using one thing to do something here they do things together here you use one Gibala and Gibin use a pen to write. You can't say Gihamba ngo tandi. It means you're using tandi to walk. You uhamba no tandi. You and tandi are working together. So the use of na and the use of nga in this question. And then upper we have e conjunctions. Remember, if you use conjunctions like ordwa, the second noun doesn't change. And futi. Uh, remember the rules about kota and futi that they don't change. But ukuze will change the second formation. Then umuzo 10. Untlagani po utanda. This is the answer. So what does this answer respond to? Untagani po utanda ban ulirato. So you do the same thing here. U uratile ulale kathe. So kathe answers what question. Example, ulale kanjani. So that is what you are going to do with all of these questions here. Okay. So don't do all of them uh, at the same time. You can do question one, for instance, on a Monday, uh, like today, and then question two and three tomorrow uh, until you finish them by Friday. Then you can send them through to me by Monday. I've given you the instructions uh, on uh, Google Classroom. Uh, don't answer the pages on Kalipam Fundi that are just meant to help you with what you're struggling with when you're answering these questions. Uh, otherwise, this is all that you need to work on uh, during the course of this week. Like I'm saying, don't do all of them on the same day. Just sectionalize them uh, until two or one question a day, depending on just how long the question is. You can do two questions if they're short questions of five marks each, or you can do a long question if it's a comprehension test, but just spread them such that you are done by Monday and then you can send them through to me. And thank you for the, to the people that uh, sent me their work. I appreciate that. Uh, I hope you're safe at home. Ni Pepe, Emma Kaya, Ginitanda Nonke Grade 9, Ni Salegash.